Back in the day, San Diego was known as the Tuna capital of the world. At its peak in the early 1970s, the harbor was littered with gargantuan tuna boats, helicopters with top decks for spotting fish, even the major cannery, Bumblebee Tuna, located right here in San Diego. Now today, if you've ever enjoyed locally sourced fish or lobster, chances are Tommy the Fishmonger Gomes has had his claws in it. Now Tommy, whose family has fished here in San Diego for over three generations, is the star of a new show on the Outdoor Channel called, how appropriate, The Fishmonger. What the hell's a fishmonger? You know, it's somebody who hustles fish, you know, peddles fish. It goes back to, you know, centuries where the fishermen would come in and their wives would peddle the fish and they were, they were the original fishmongers, you know. Um, that's what I do. I peddle fish for our local fishermen and we're trying to get local seafood back on the map here in San Diego. And how long have we been monging fish? Uh, I first started selling fish in my little red wagon on the IB pier. I was selling buttermouth clams, two for a nickel, to the fishermen on the pier. And I would dig them up down at the sloughs, the IB sloughs, which is now, you know, you can't go in there and take. But back in the day, we didn't have those. And so it was one of those little secret things. And the fishermen would pay me a nickel for two clams. Come on. It was crazy. Why is it important to support your local fisherman or fisherwoman? Yeah, you know, I, I don't get that question often enough. It's important not only for the economy, because what people don't understand here in San Diego, that fish has created jobs before it's even harvested, whether it's at Smart and Final or Costco or one of the local stores to the gas fuel dock, to the forklift drivers, to the ice house, all of this stuff is created before we even go out and catch that fish and when we bring it in it's creating more jobs we have to get it offloaded we have to take it to the processors or the wholesalers we have truck drivers and boxes and bags and we have all of this stuff that goes into bringing that fish and san diego has an unbelievable selection of fresh local seafood yet i'm trying to teach people how to shop for it because just like fruits and vegetables Seafood has seasons as well, and we need to shop for our seafood as the seasons progress. And we just got out of lobster season, and I'm curious, who would win in a fight between a Maine lobster and a California spiny lobster? <laughs> if, the, if the Maine lobster caught them, they'd crush them with their claws. But those spiny lobsters are awful fast. Um, they dart around pretty quick, and so it, it'd probably be a 50-50. That <laughs> spiny lobster could get in those nooks and crevice, uh, crevices and the reefs and stuff a lot quicker than the East Coaster. Now, uh, I've been standing here next to you for a couple of minutes, and I notice you don't smell like fish. How do you spend an entire day at the docks and not smell? It's early morning. Come back this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> Even my dog will smell like fish. Do you have any tips to get rid of that fish smell? No. For breathe? <laughs> it's just, yeah. You know, there's a, a soap out there, de-fishing soap, that works well. But, um, no, you have to have a special pile of clothes and then the clothes that you wear yeah. for when you're not at the dock. So you go through a lot of blue jeans, that's for sure. So tell me about this new awesome show, The Fishmonger, on the Outdoor Channel. I don't even know how it came about, man. I mean, really, I'm just some dude that... I had this idea, my buddy Scott Laysath, he has a couple shows on the Outdoor Channel. He's the producer, and I wanted to showcase what it takes for our, our American fishermen across the board to bring the high-quality seafood back into home port, whether it's San Diego, East Coast, Gulf States, Northern California, Central California, wherever it is that American fishermen are bringing in fish, I want to be there to tell their story. You know, we're up against permits, regulations, closed areas, uh, gear restrictions. We just can't go out there and sock it to them. We have to follow rules and regulations. And that includes, you know, putting government observers on the boat right. and them documenting every single thing that you're doing. Whereas foreign boats can go and hammer away at whatever it is that they're catching and bring it into another country, a total different country than where they're from, and that country becomes the country of origin. See, this isn't like, you know, jumping on the bandwagon and, you know, buy American, buy American. Right. This is just supporting our local fishermen, harvesters of the sea, just like we should be supporting 
our local farmers and our local ranchers. While Look, protecting the fish also, right? While protecting the fish. We are the stewards of the sea. We're not out there trying to kill the last dinosaur. Right. You know, the show is, it's not about me. It's about a way of life at sea for our American, your American commercial fishermen and what it takes to get the best seafood to your table. How cool was that? I'll tell you what, I'm used to taking the skin boat to Tuna Town. That was a veritable treat. Big thanks to Tommy the Fishmonger and be sure to check out his show Mondays on the Outdoor Channel. For Chris Cantori, I'm Chris Cantori. <laughs>